going to be doing a haul video for you guys. Now I've accumulated a bunch of stuff since I've been on winter break and I need to share it with you. So I went to like Ulta, Sephora, I went to Forever 21, I went to Victoria's Secret and I'm going to share with you guys everything that I got. All of this stuff was from like gifts and then of course I got a lot of gift cards and money from Christmas. So everything that you see here was spent off of that and then a couple of gifts like I said. So um, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say. So yeah, if you guys want to see everything that I got over my winter break back in California, then you guys can keep on watching. So the first thing that I got from Sephora is the Sephora Z Palette. Now I've been needing and wanting a new Z Palette for a really long time. So when I was at Sephora I had some money from Christmas and stuff. So I figured why not just splurge on it and get this one. So the next thing that I got is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. And I absolutely love this stuff. It has coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics in it. So it's really good for your skin. So the next thing that I got is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now I have been wanting a new mascara for a really long time, but I just didn't know which one I wanted to get. Why does this never open? I used it today and I really, really love the way my lashes came out. Of course I have falsies on, but I'm planning on using it tomorrow with just the mascara and coating it on. So I'm really, really, really excited for this. The next thing that I got is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I love this stuff. I decided to get this again because I ran out of my brow gel and I needed something to keep my crazy eyebrows in place. So I decided to get this. I was going to get a tinted one, but I wasn't sure if I would like it or if I would, you know, pick the right color. So I decided to stay safe and just go with the clear. I picked up another duo lash glue adhesive. This is the only lash glue that I use for my eyelashes because, I almost said eyebrow. This is the only eyelash glue that I actually use for my lashes just because I love it. And I love to get it at Sephora because they do have the bigger ones, whereas if I got it at like Walgreens or something, they only have the small tubes and these ones last me for a really long time. I got a new sharpener for my eyeliner and stuff. I got two brushes. So the first one I got is the Pro Crease Brush by Sephora and I really love it. I've been wanting a new blending brush and I've been wanting to try out Sephora's brand of brushes, but they're always so expensive and I was just like, I don't really want to spend that money, but I decided to give in and buy the blending brush and I really love it. And the last brush that I got is the Anastasia number 12 brush. This is just an angled brush and a spoolie all in one. So I'm going to move on to the gift that my friends got for me. They surprised me with this makeup bag full of stuff and I cannot believe that they did it. So it's just this little makeup bag from Victoria's Secret and it has two different compartments right here. And the first thing that I see is the um, Beauty Blender Micro Mini and I'm super excited because I love the Beauty Blender. I hadn't gotten the chance to pick this up yet and I'm super excited when I seen this because I have been wanting to try it out for a really long time. Like I wonder if it really works so I'm so excited. It comes with two of the mini Beauty Blenders so I'm excited to try that out. I got this hand food hydrating hand cream from Soap and Glory. Ooh, this one's good. It smells good. It smells really good. It says it has shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. That's awesome. So I got that. They got me the Naked 2 Basics. I'm so excited, you guys. I was actually not going to pick this up because I was scared I wasn't going to use it. But now that I see it like in person, I really love it. It's just a lot of cool tone eyeshadows, whereas the original Naked Basics is a lot of warm tone. Um, they got me some stuff in wrapping. The first thing that they got me is this, I want to say it's a bracelet, it's a gold bracelet, so cute. And, and then also a necklace, oh my god this is so pretty. Um, I believe these are from Forever 21, Love and Beauty is Forever 21 right? So they got me a cucumber sheet mask for sensitive skin, tea tree oil sheet mask for blemished skin, and the aloe vera sheet mask for dry skin. Oh my god, they got me the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel as well and I just showed you guys this, how funny. They got me some of my favorite dual action moisturizer, which I actually need a new one. So I'm so excited because this is my all-time favorite moisturizer, if you guys didn't know already. This pink um, Total Flirt Hand and Body Cream. Ooh, this smells really good. 
And then the last thing in here is my favorite, favorite, favorite facial mask. This is the Mint and Lemon Clay Mask. I use this all the time and I'm so excited to get another one because I actually forgot to pick one up at Ulta when I was there. So, yay! So I'm so excited I got this. So thank you Jen, Vinny, and Angie. You guys are amazing. Like, amazing. I cannot tell you guys how excited I was. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to my Ulta bag because this bag has a lot of of stuff in it. So the first thing that I see in here that I actually got during Christmas my mom bought for me and this is the LA Splash Lip Couture Liquid Lipstick. If you've never heard of a liquid lipstick, what it is is it's basically a lipstick in like a lip gloss form and it dries to a complete matte finish. I am actually wearing one right now. I am wearing Malevolent and this is just a really deep red color and I am obsessed with it. So obsessed. So, LA Splash Cosmetics came out with liquid lipsticks, and they also came out with a Christmas bundle, and this is what it came with. It came with five all-new shades and a lip couture um, remover. So, the shades are Venom, which is this black color, uh, Phantom, which is this really pretty purple color, um, Vindictive, which is supposed to be like a gray, but it looks really like a teal color. Actually, I guess it kind of looks gray. Um, Ghoulish, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude gray, and I just, I want to wear this one every single day. And then, of course, the one I'm wearing right now, which is Malevolent, and I'm super excited because these are amazing. So I got two of the NYX Mineral Stick Foundations. I got one in the color 06 Golden Beige and 09 Caramel. I actually use Caramel to contour with today, so I really love it. I haven't tried this one out, but this one is more my skin tone. I'm going to try it out tomorrow, and I really love these, you guys. I got a NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray, and I've never tried a drugstore setting spray, so I'm super excited and kind of nervous because I want this to work really good. I am a huge fan of matte faces, and... I really want this to work, so we're going to try this out. I got two NYX eyeliners. This first one is in pure white. It's just a white eyeliner, and then this one is in gunmetal. I actually thought this one was just a pure black when I picked it up, and then I got home and realized that it's not. It's a gunmetal color. I guess I should have read the label. So I got three NYX eyeshadows, and this first one is in Blame It On Midnight, and it's just a really pretty, soft, brown color. I'd say it's a really good transition color. I got this one in Dance the Tides, which is a really gorgeous, gorgeous crease color. It's just a, like, kind of like a soft brown. It really reminds me of either soft brown or saddle from MAC. So, one of those. And then this beautiful color right here. Oh, I should have used this one today. This one is called Betrayal. And this one is a gorgeous, cool toned, like, brown color. And I really, really love it. The thing about these is they are matte eyeshadows, but none of them are completely matte. They all have a really nice sheen to them, so um, I don't really know what NYX considers matte. But these definitely have shimmer and a sheen to it, so um, I still love them. They're really good, and I've used them a couple times, so I really like the formula of them. I picked up the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge because actually I needed a new one. I just needed a new sponge to use. I got... These brushes from Beauty Fix, there was actually a NYX pop-up store in my mall, and I found these brushes. I really wanted to try a brush like this for contouring, and they're not exactly as fluffy as I thought it was. Maybe they'll become more fluffy when I, like, wash them, but these are just, you know, your typical little fluffy brushes. They kind of remind me of, like, the Bare Mineral ones. That's why I picked it out. I got an e.l.f. Smudge Eye Sponge. I got this for glitter mainly because I felt like this would... Hold on to the glitter a little bit more, so definitely gonna try that out. I got the NYX eyeliner, and this is the gel eyeliner in jet black. And I've used this a couple times, and I can honestly say it's probably one of the best eyeliners that I've used. It's so black, and I really, really love it. It's so smooth and so easy to work with, and that's what I look for in a gel liner. Going with the LA Splash, the liquid lipsticks, they actually sent me this LA Splash body facing glitter. And this is in the color Champagne Bubble. So it's just a really pretty gold glitter. You guys probably cannot even see this. So I found some new products at Ulta as well. And these are the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. So basically there are brow gels. And I know you're like, why do you need another brow gel? Because you just bought one. But it's a drugstore brand. And I don't find drugstore brands like for eyebrows good at all. So I'm definitely 
intrigued and I want to know if these actually work so I've been waiting to save them. I got a couple eyeliners. The first one is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner and I actually thought this one was a brush and then I opened it and it's actually a felt tip liner. I did not know that. I It just looked like a brush so I this one is from Jordana and it's called the Fabi Liner Liquid Liner in black and this was just basically like a marker. A new pair of tweezers. This is the Looking Good Fashion Tweezers. I actually got these at Walgreens I believe. They're just basic tweezers. They just have a cute fun design on them. The bag's empty. The last things in here are these Jordana lip liners and these are in the color Baby Berry which is just a basically a berry pink um, lip liner. And then I got Coco Loco, which is just a brown lip liner. It's really pretty. I love it. And then I got Tawny, which is just a mauve nude lip liner. And I love that one too. So I got those three. And I, like I said, I actually found these at Walgreens. So I just stuck them in my little bag. So the rest of my haul are clothes and stuff. So I have my Forever 21 bag here. And honestly, there's not much in here. I... I should have spent a lot more money on clothes than I did makeup, but you know how that goes. So the first thing in here, this is actually from Charlotte Russe, and these are just some burgundy leggings. I just wanted some fun, colorful leggings, so I got those. Um, I got a bunch of these camis, so self explanatory where I got a bunch of white and black ones because I needed some new ones, so like I said, I got a bunch of those. And a gray one. And then these next ones are from Forever, I mean, from Victoria's Secret. And this is a sleep shirt. This is, says, let's sleep in. And I love it. It's so, so freaking adorable. I love the color of it. And it's super long. So, and I got it a size up. That way it would be really big on me. And then this next one is also from Pink. And this is a giant sweater shirt. And I really love the way it looks. So cute, it's burgundy and on the back it has cheetah writing and I love it and I want another one. This one's actually from Forever 21 as well and this is just a gray sweater. I got this because I'm obsessed with sweaters. I love sweaters and I'm super excited because this is my favorite sweater. I love gray sweaters, I love white sweaters, I love all types of sweaters. <laughs> I love this one but yeah it's just a basic, you know, sweater. The last two things are just kind of miscellaneous things. I also got this at Forever 21. This is a makeup bag and it's just a cheetah print and I really loved it so I bought two of them. And I also got a new planner. This is so cute. I'm in love with this planner. I put washi tape on it already. But I am in love with this planner. This is for 2015 and for all of my YouTube stuff so I'm super excited. It's just a gorgeous teal and gold planner and it's just perfect for me because it's my favorite color. So I'm super excited to start planning for you guys. Um, the last thing in my haul video are my new glasses that I am obsessed with. So I got new glasses because I'm pretty much blind. Okay, I'm not blind, but so I got these new ones and I'm super excited and I know a lot of you guys are going to ask what glasses they are. So I'm going to link them down below so you guys can find them yourself. But these are the Ray-Ban 5228 glasses. There's a lot of people that have these so popular but I really love the way they look okay, so that is it for my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed it I wanted to share with you guys everything that I stocked up and piled up over winter break I know I didn't have a lot of videos for you guys over winter break I think I just put up one video or actually I put up two I put up a vlog and then my New Year's um, Eve makeup tutorial so um, I know I didn't have a lot of videos up but I really could not film it was just I tried to film a makeup tutorial and a video, and I tried to film this video like three times, and I just couldn't because the lighting was bad, and it was just, it looked horrible, so I decided to wait until I got home to film this, and I feel like it just looks a lot better. I'm in my own place, and it just worked out so much better. School is starting for me, and I am going to be busy, 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 so I got myself a planner to schedule all of my videos and everything. I want to be on top of things this year. I'm definitely going to try and get up two to three videos each week like I was doing before I moved and everything. So I want to get back on track and just 
roll out those videos for you guys. So that is what I'm trying to do. I would love it if you guys could comment down below and let me know what types of videos you guys want to see. I know I always ask, but I love, love, love to have a huge list of videos that you guys requested. It just gives me so many more options and so many more ideas. So go ahead and leave your video request down below. It'll help me a ton. I also want to apologize again for my voice. I know I went in and out a couple times, but... You guys probably can't even tell. I don't even know. So I actually also want to say that I did film this look for you guys. I actually filmed it really, really fast because I was going to make it into like a get ready with me video. But I actually really love the way it came out. So I might end up re-filming it later on just to do like an in-depth makeup tour because I love the way this look came out and I wasn't expecting it to come out like this. So <laughs> I may refilm it. I'm not sure. I'm going to look at the footage and see what it looks like. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to follow all of my social media links down below. That way you guys can keep up with me on Instagram, Twitter, everything. I love when you guys follow me and I love when interacting with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because your guys' thumbs up is what keeps me like doing Doing certain types of videos I don't care if you guys want to thumbs it down it doesn't bother me a bit but if you guys thumbs it up I know how many people really like these types of videos so yeah so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video bye